Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau äh, für unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden. Ähm, diese Woche ist viel passiert und ähm, äh, die Küche nähert sich der äh, Beendung zu. Und ich kann gar nicht sagen, wie schön das sich anfühlt. <lacht> Salut à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in saint modèle C'est un épisode. Äh, C'est la cuisine et finaliser la rénovation de la cuisine. Mm -hmm. And now, to our English speaking friends from around the world, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. And this episode is about update to our kitchen, which is uh, very fast now. Finally, it was it was that bottleneck, uh, and we are. Getting to the point that we will finish the kitchen soon. Yes. It can't be soon enough, but... <laughs> right. Right. So, we uh, uh, behind us, of course, you see this is where the time capsule wall was. And so this is what we've been working on for the last several days. Yep. Well, that and the lighting. Stuart yeah. did all the lighting. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the tiling. Patrick did all the tiling. Yeah, well, yes. But it, so it's... Uh, there's no more access to the time capsule. That's gone, it's tiled, it's grouted, sealed up. Lovely. Yep. Uh, and and the, quite frankly, the having the, the white tiles here and, okay, I'm going to do this. D d don't scream at me because you might be blended, but look at that. Working down there. Good, uh, good work like. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. So this has become a, a really, and that's our taste, and you know you can't argue about taste. So if you have a different taste, keep it to yourselves because <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue. Everyone is allowed to have their own opinion on that, but uh, it, it is so much brighter. The, the floor, the, the tiles, the paint, uh, the cabinets. So it, it, it has become a really beautifully workable kitchen. Mm -hmm. And eventually we will have uh, new countertops, which will take a while because we have to be completely done and they are not, uh, the lower cabinets are not 100% done yet. They're 95%, but they're not done yet. And then we can actually get quotes for our countertops. Right. Uh, but having said that, we are about, what, a good week away from finalizing the basic kitchen. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs>
wonderful good morning from the Chateau de Colombe. Um, I decided to do something a bit different. I'm gonna take a bit of time to get uh, get uh, you an idea of what we do during the day. So the dogs already have been out. They are chasing things, <laughs> cars mostly. Uh, we had our coffees and you know, this chandelier. And what I'm going to do to be able to put up first uh, the uh, rosette needs to be have one coat of paint on it, which I'm going to do next. So it's getting the ladder, getting the paint, getting everything here, moving everything. And so that that is painted once because that rosette is actually quite large. Um, and I can do this and we can actually talk about this and you can see this, uh, it's quite large. So once that is done, uh, then we can do some detail work on it and hang the chandelier that is supposed to hang here, uh, back up. And, um, it is so hot, uh, during the day that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to just sit down in the dining room and start rewiring, um, uh, beginning to rewire all the crystals because that's not a job that's done in a day. It's a couple of hundred and um, But then so we can then if we want to do work on the ceiling cover the ch uh, the chandelier with uh, Plastic completely package it in and work around it on the ceiling But then that's all done and John has already wired the rosette So there's new wiring in it uh, No more fire hazards. Anyways, so I'm gonna get cracking. Bye. Okay, first coat's up. <laughs> uh, it's on there. Now I'm going to uh, a paint room, which is actually where the furnace is, and um, I will paint the doors for the upper cabinets that finally arrived so that they get their three coats of paint. <laughs> In any case, and then hopefully we can get them all up. I'm going over to the Next paint projects, as I said, the oppa. Oh, don't don't get nauseous. <laughs> That's sick, I mean, um, painting the doors so they can be installed, and we can actually use our upper cabinets. Okay, Stuart, bring the last doors. Yes, here's this one. I have just one more after this. Okay, what business or such thing? Did you just throw the bomb me? I see, I see how that works in this house. This is actually not a difficult job by any means. Uh, and it's very, in a way, therapeutic. Now it is incredibly warm outside again. Uh, and of course it's, <laughs> we're still in, this, in spring. It's not even summer yet. Uh, so, Got to get nice and toasty, and 
the beautiful thing is right now in here, uh, it's lovely. Um, it, the buildings don't heat up as much as uh, many modern buildings. So it's really quite enjoyable to work in inside and there are so many projects that one never quite knows what to do next um but i mean there are certain projects that have to be done for practical reasons or uh, logistical reasons this is a uh, definitely needed and uh, we're so excited to soon have our upper cabinets usable and can fill them because then we can finally get uh, also the lower cabinets permanently installed and one thing that is not visible easily is how incredibly difficult it is to fit cabinets in these old, old buildings. Because the walls are warped, not just in one direction, no, two, two directions. Um, so it is one of those things where you can get incredibly frustrated. Um, and then we have walls that sometimes, there was a hair, crumble a bit. when we drill, so then the holes are way too large for the anchors, so we have to redo all that. And we had to do this multiple times so far, twice actually. Um, and it can be incredibly, incredibly depressing in a way, because even with best efforts, it's not always working out as well as one would like to. Okay, that's Let's start here. And when it comes to painting, it's uh, thicker. A thicker coat is not necessarily a better coat. So uh, as much as it is more time consuming and maybe even annoying, uh, it is often better to, instead of to do two coats, to do three. And thinner coats and have a, a really much more um, even and pretty result. And on that note, I'm going to continue this and you will see these when they are actually installed.
So there are, of course, um, I have to do grouting on that wall and mm -hmm. another wall because the tiling is done, which is lovely. I mean, it, well, um, it, it, it took a while to get to the point that everything is ready. Um, there will be kind of like a skirting here mm -hmm. to block the, the light so that's right. not... Um, yeah, we just have uh, like just smaller details that we right. have to take care of. It's right. nothing that is... Um, a big hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I just say, this is lavender that we mm -hmm. bought. Mm -hmm. Smells divine. And can I just show this? It is in the jardinier. It's so pretty. Yes. And having this here between us, just lovely. Yes. Oops. No, I can't get all That's of it. That's okay. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it, of course, yeah, there are always uh, things to do. I have to... Uh, seal things with silicone and all that. So, but, um, right, small things we need. Uh, we have to still get uh, specific paint for the radiators. Yes. So we can actually paint the radiators, the, the French gray. I think we're going to paint the French yep. gray, right? So it's just really small things that are left that are all the details that need to get. Yeah, the big out. stuff is done. It's, mm -hmm. it's small stuff and it feels really good to be this close to. It, yes, it does. Uh, I mean, even if, I, I don't care if the radiators are not painted. Right. The kitchen is going to be functioning within like a week and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of it. We are, we were told we will get our piano, our cooker. We, <laughs> <laughs> I hesitate to mention this. Oh, come uh, on. Okay, so we were told that it was going to be here very soon. Yes, and so uh, Sunday was one of those days where, uh, you know, when, when, when frustration is bottled up and bubbles up. So there were multiple things. Um, we bought a pair of candelabras and uh, a, a very allegedly reputable company that every auction house in this country is promoting. For shipping. For shipping. Right. is did such a horrible job. Uh -huh. So... Uh, so we bought two beautiful 1890s candelabras for the dining room and they're basically, um, both of them are severely damaged. Very damaged. So I wrote that email. Right. Uh, I was finally at the point that I, that I thought, uh, how much longer do I have to wait for uh, our cooker? <laughs> so I wrote right. them an email. Right. And... Then there was a whole thing about the, the tractor and mm. something else. So it was one of those days where Stuart said, we had such a good weekend. Why are you so tense? So, and I said, because I need to write some emails. And I did. Mm -hmm. And so the cooker is supposed to be delivered soon. Right. Uh, and, and, and then we heard, oh, yeah, the, the cooker arrived last week. And I thought it arrived last week. And you did not bother to mention this after it was already four months delayed. Right. Okay, but so, and I, I actually did threaten them with canceling the order. Mm -hmm. Out of the blue, it's there. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's amazing that that happens. It's a, it's a cooker miracle. <laughs> but, you know, same with, with our, our, our tractor. Yeah. Uh, I had a wonderful conversation on Saturday at Tony's birthday, which we're coming to in a, in a right. second yes. with uh, a woman who, who knows a lot of people around here. Mm -hmm. She's wonderful and... Uh, she said, oh, no, let me just, um, let me just make a, a phone call. And so, uh, today I got an email after two and a half weeks right. of uh, them knowing about this going, oh, by the way, when we, can we pick it up? And I thought, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, I do not like to get to the point where I have to yell at people, um, or have someone else yell at people. Before they actually do their job. Right. <laughs> but I, it, it was a couple of, of uh, emails yelling at people and saying, what is wrong with you? And out of the blue, everything falls into mm. place. And people go, oh, oh, no, no, we can do this. I go, okay, lovely. Right. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. It was. So we did, uh, over the, the weekend, we did go to celebrate Tony's birthday. And you know that uh, Patrick had uh, repaired a clock. Uh, worked on a clock for Tony. It is almost, almost. It is <laughs> works on its own, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's almost there. 
Yes. A and and we forgot last time. Mm -hmm. This. Oh yes. So this is the the, the French. Everyone's uh, loving it. Summer cocktail that mm -hmm. I mixed last time. Cheers. And we were going to tell you after Patrick made it uh, what we thought of it, right? If it, it, I I find it delicious, and it is really good. But what we are doing, we're actually putting a shot glass of gin in it because it cuts the sweetness. Right. Now, it's not a lot of alcohol for a glass this size, but it just makes it a, a bit more tart. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So, have a look. Uh, we have video of when Tony opened his present. Yes. <laughs> That's great. You might have missed oh, this, eh? That's really nice. It's a... What is it, Tony? It's a club. <laughs> Where did you find this? Uh, just by the wayside. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, right. Thank you. 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 I've seen really it on the nice. floor. But Jane knew. Of course she She knows everything. Well, I told her. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. Look at that pendulum. Look at the face on it. There. Is, it's... It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we were just amazed that we found something that, we found something that was so similar to the one that we found. The one that you stole. Well, yes, okay, that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one we didn't quite steal, but... And I, I tinkered it's with this and I got it to, to run about... Um, 30 minutes to an hour, but I think it's really, oh, it was wine stones. wound too tight. Yes. So it's Flowers. about getting this to unwind more and more and more. And then yeah. it, and I, it's oiled, uh, I repaired it. There was really quite, it, it, it was really a lot of fun because there was uh, the, kind of the, the moldings needed to be re glued. And it was in the back, the pendulum was hung up on just wire. Well, and the, are you kidding? Oh, Happy yeah. birthday, Tony! Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now, if you like this episode, please uh, give us a thumb, thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. Subscribe. Leave your comments. We we love them, and we try to reply to pretty much everyone who does leave a comment. Right. Uh, if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon or buy me a coffee. Um, no, Friday is what? Uh, Friday will be, it's sort of pending, depending on what happens tomorrow, isn't it? So, yes, Friday might be a big day for us, right? Or it might not, right? And of course, <laughs> regardless, we will let you know. Yes, thank you for watching. We'll see you. Au revoir. I'll see you on Friday. Goodbye. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.